um, part two of my video because my phone stopped filming halfway through the other one. So this one's going to be in two pieces. So we're now working with a looped theraband. If you have a long piece of theraband, just tie a knot in to make a loop. So there's a little bit of resistance. So I'm just under shoulder width apart, so I just have to pull it to shoulder width. You can always have a lighter one. Always start with a lighter one and then build it up from there. We're going to get the theraband above our elbows. If you have oh, hair like me, it's best to wear long sleeves because as you try and get the other arm in, it likes to pull out your hair, which isn't very pleasant. So, there we go. We're going to be in kind of a child pose. The deeper and down you go, the harder this exercise is. We're just going to stick for it being easier today. So, we're again going to take our arms shoulder width apart. They're going to be flat on the floor. We're going to nominate one arm to go first. I'm going to take the palm towards the ceiling. Now, instead of just bringing it up and down, I want to think about scoop. So we're going to lengthen the arm, and we're going to think about scooping something. So it's like an under, and then like over type thing. Yeah? And this is going to help with the scapular posterior tilt, which is what we want, because that's going to fire the serratus anterior as well. So we are here, and we're just going to do a little scoop. We're going to bring our hand so it is in line with our elbow. We're then going to take it and touch our other elbow. This is where we're going to be careful. Sometimes the elbow will sneak in like this, and it gets too easy. So we've got to keep this resistance. We've got to stay shoulder width apart. So we're going to go scoop, tap, bring it back, and down. Yeah? So we're going to do 10 each side. Well, hopefully by now you're all set up with your therapist. So palm facing the ceiling. We're going to scoop. We're going to tap. We're going to come back and down. So that's one, two, three. Keep remembering that scoop at the beginning and keep that resistance in the band. Don't let your elbow creep in. This is five. I think. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And we're going to go onto the other side. We're going to place this palm down. If you want to have a wiggle with your shoulders, go for it. And place the other palm facing the ceiling. We're going to do our scoop, bring our hand in line with the elbow, tap the other elbow, come back and down. That's one, two, remember the scoop, three, four, five, keep the resistance in the band. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And release. So again, do three sets each side. Um, three sets is usually always good if your shoulders are hurting if you are injured at the moment really listen to your body if you get to five and it's not the good type of feeling in your shoulder stop at five do your other side and then see if you can maybe do three or five again but if it's becoming too much start with one set and just slowly build it up to two sets and then three sets so it's that tuning into what your body is saying to you it's still going to feel hard work regardless, but if it is kind of like a deep pain, like the only way to explain it is it's inside your shoulder, it's almost like ask where it is, like in here. So that's like a form of impingement. So a lot of it's to do with knots in places, being pulled, a lot of tension. So do a lot of the tension releasing stuff from the previous video before you do any of these exercises. 
and then do these exercises, and then do the tension releasing sums again. It just helps relax everything and hopefully just need to lessen those knots. And then strengthen everything up. So my next one is, and you've probably done these quite a bit, it can look really easy that you step on your band, you're just taking your arm up and down. Yeah. We want to start thinking about what we're really doing to our shoulder. So as we were doing at the floor, and I was telling you to scoop, so you're really reaching forwards, like just scooping like so, but without all of the body wiggle. Oops, shouldn't be doing that. Um, so you want to think, keep the posture, and then you're just going to think about that scoop as the arm comes up. So what is this scoop action doing? This whole thing that I'm making you do, the scooping, is the scapular posterior tilts, which is the scapula, the shoulder blade on our back, that big bone thing, that wing sits on our back. We want the top part, which is up here, we want that to tilt backwards, and the tip is coming inwards. That's a posterior tilt. And that is all connected to the muscle, the uh, serratus anterior, very important muscle. We need that to be working a lot more. A lot of the time our lats will want to do the work, or our trapezius, um, we just need to hold off just a little bit. So that's why, again, we're going to go with a lighter band. We don't want our global muscles kicking in. And when something is too much, our global muscles will come in to rescue, basically. So go nice and light. We're going to start here. We're going to find our posture. And we're just going to scoop and take the arm up. And you should feel it maybe just a little bit further back, or maybe up here, and then down. So again, again, we're going to scoop, and then we're going to try and go as high as we can, and add a bit of a lift at the top. So there's a slight external rotation as well at the end range. So scoop, slight external rotation here as we push our arm up, and we're coming down. I've lost count. I'm calling that three. So we're going to go for four. I'm just kind of holding my chest for some reason to make sure I'm not twisting. I have a habit of twisting, um, no compensating. So this just kind of keeps me in check. Sometimes my hips like to overwork. So always feel free to check in with your body. is isn't cheating. You want to really get the actual stabilizer, stabilizer muscle you want to work working. And I believe that is 10. And we're going to go 10 on the other side. So go with a nice, light TheraBand. Nobody should be working on a medium or a heavy band for these exercises. Um, even I don't. All the exercises I do with my TheraBand are with the lightest setting. Um, just because we want stronger stabilizers and we don't want global muscles to kick in. So we're going to do the other side again. Let's find our posture, make sure our shoulders are in line with our hips. Keeping that core engaged, and we're just going to do our scoop action all the way to the top, and maybe just a little reach up to the ceiling before we come down. If you're finding that little reach at the end is making you arch, then leave it out for now and just build up to it slowly. So we don't want our ribcage flaring, so you could even be holding onto your ribs, and if you find as you get here, your ribs are coming forwards. You know you've just gone a bit too far for your mobility range at the moment. The more you do these, the more range you will get in your shoulders over time. Six, I think. We'll do four more. I clearly just can't have enough focus to count me into four. I'm calling this one. I think this is there. And release. So that's a lot of information given to you in this video, two parts of the video. Um, so try and do three sets of things, but always try and build it. If your body is telling you this is actually quite a lot for me, stick with one set. Or if you are doing three sets, maybe do just five or six. If ten is too much, then lessen it. Basically, you live in your body, um, so you know sometimes what's best. Just tune in. 
if you're unsure of anything, um, if anything in these videos is confusing, if I've used some weird terminology you've never heard, always feel free to reach out and message me and I'm always happy to explain it for you. So with that, let's